Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a Cointracker.com account so that you can connect your cryptocurrency exchanges and cryptocurrency wallets so that you can file your taxes with all of your cryptocurrency transactions. So let's get started. Okay, so that was a mouthful. But uh, basically, Cointracker is a website where you can connect your cryptocurrency exchanges and your cryptocurrency wallets so that you can track all of your uh, cryptocurrency purchases, trades, sales, movements, uh, and be able to file your taxes and declare all of your cryptocurrencies. Now, Cointracker doesn't actually do your entire tax return. They basically generate a tax form for you, and that tax form is the 8949, which is the form that you use to declare capital gains and or losses. So, but that's the, really the crux of the biscuit when you're dealing with your cryptocurrency transactions. You want to be able to declare every gain or loss on any transaction that occurred. So when you sell cryptocurrency, that's a taxable event. When you buy cryptocurrency, that's a taxable event. Now, another thing you want to take into account is when you withdraw cryptocurrency from an exchange and store it in your own cryptocurrency wallet, that is not a sale. That is a transfer. You haven't changed or sold the asset. You've simply moved it from one location to another. So you want to make sure that you set up all of your wallets and connect those to your coin tracker account so that you'll be able to account for that on your taxes right you don't want uh to move a bunch of bitcoin into your own wallet and have the irs think that you sold it right so that's why we want to connect all of our cryptocurrency accounts and wallets together in cointracker.com so let me show you how to get started and set up an account it's totally free to set up an account and it's pretty useful too. So you can set up an account for free. You can track all of your cryptocurrency movements. And the only thing you're going to pay for is when you ask Cointracker to actually generate the tax form for you. So there's no risk in getting set up. So we'll start off by hitting sign in. All right. And we're going to set up a new account. Now, it's pretty easy to set up an account by connecting it to your Coinbase account. This is the easiest way to connect all of your transactions to Cointracker.com if you're a Coinbase user. So if we hit continue with Coinbase, all we need to do is sign into our Coinbase account. And our Coinbase transactions will all be connected and viewable in Cointracker.com. All right, here, and then we just authorize uh, Cointracker to access our Coinbase account. Now, this does not mean that Cointracker has any control over your account. They cannot withdraw cryptocurrency. They can't move cryptocurrency. They can't trade any of your cryptocurrency. You're simply giving them read access to your account so that they can access your transaction history and help you figure all of your cryptocurrency capital gains and losses, right? So don't worry. They're not going to steal your cryptocurrency. So let's hit authorize here and boom. Now you can see that I've uh, already set up an account previously and everything is uh, connected. All right, so in order to check your connection, you might want to just go over here to wallets. All right, and as you can see, I've got quite a few wallets connected, but uh, the one that you will probably see is your Coinbase account, right? So uh, it's got it listed as an exchange here, even though we went to wallets. And so right now it uh, has my current balance in my Coinbase account and it shows all of the cryptocurrencies that I'm currently holding in my Coinbase account. Uh, the other thing that's cool is if you click on any one of these cryptocurrencies, like Bitcoin, you can see there's 200 transactions. I do a lot on Coinbase, so uh, I've got a lot of transactions in Coinbase. So if we click right here, it'll open up, it'll just dive down a little deeper, and it'll show us all of the transactions up to the current date uh, with Coinbase. Now, uh, if you've had a Coinbase account for several years, when you get to the part where you do your taxes, you'll specify the tax year. So it will only pull the transactions for that 
particular tax year. All right, so that's a really easy way to connect your Coinbase account. So what about your cryptocurrency wallets? All you have to do is hit add wallet and just tell it what type of wallet it is. So, and it has a lot of support for different types of wallets, right? You've got your Ledger, your Trezor, uh, your Jax wallet, my Ether wallet, my crypto, MetaMask, XPub address, which would be uh, a special address uh, for a multi-account wallet, all right? But let's try Ledger. All right, and so when you uh, choose the Ledger wallet, it gives you some specific directions for uh, the Ledger wallet. As you know, the Ledger wallet, uh, hardware wallet, is a multi-cryptocurrency wallet. So you're going to have multiple accounts in there and multiple cryptocurrencies. So uh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Dash, Dogecoin, Litecoin, Zcash are supported uh, directly. Pretty simple to do. Uh, other cryptocurrencies, you'll simply put the public address of your wallets in there. So I'll do another video on how you do each specific wallet. But this is enough to get you started. Now, uh, when you go to your dashboard, you can track all of your different wallets and all of your crypto assets. Now, uh, and notice too that these assets can be spread across different exchanges and different wallets, right? Once you get everything connected. And it will tell you how much you have uh, and give you a uh, history. All right. So you can see here, it's got all of my Tron transactions even uh, if they're from other wallets, right? So this Tron came from a Binance wallet uh, and so on and so forth, right? And then we can look at the uh, Bitcoin. Right? I can see all my Bitcoin transactions from all of my different wallets. So uh, pretty cool. So uh, I'll do some more videos on adding more specific wallets, but right now that's enough to get you started. So uh, I encourage you to head over to Cointracker.com, get yourself set up with an account. If you don't have a Coinbase account, just set it up with your email. All you gotta do there is uh, give it your email and create a password and you'll have a blank account and you can start adding your wallets and exchanges. So uh, pretty simple stuff. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. Don't forget I have a live stream every Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please join me for my live Q&A from Michigan where I'll uh, be here to field your questions and do my best to get them answered. Hope to see you there. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.